I'm 16. Hi, I'm Walker. I'm 13. And we react to stuff. What are we reacting to? Uh, well, y'all have been asking for Led Zeppelin, so you're finally getting it. Stairway to Heaven, live, Led Zeppelin. Let's yip, yip. get Yeah, yip, yip. <laughs> Nice jacket. This is like acoustic right now. What do you call a double guitar again? A double guitar. Is that like what you. I forgot, y'all. Kind of sounds Beatles y right now. I know, right? Makes me think of flowers, if I'm being honest. Makes me uh, think of the um, early 1900s. Okay. Can't say I agree, but. There's a so lady who should. All that glitters is gone. And she's fine in the stair. He has the hair I only dream of. <laughs> and when she gets there, she knows. If the stores are all closed With a word she can get what she came for Ooh, 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 ooh. And she's buying the stairway table There's a sign on the wall But she wants His hands. He's like a president. By the book, there's a song barely sings. Sometimes all of our thoughts are misgiven. And I think you can see that. I love this song so much. It's so is far. mesmerizing. I know. So he's like one of the people that eats the mic. They're like, I like his hands. He yeah. has like, yeah, he has very presidential gestures. This person is doing stuff with their hands. There's a feeling I get when I look to the west. So the guitar is getting a little heavier. Did not really see that coming. Why does he have a rip in his jeans right there? <laughs> it's like, where do you want to rip in your jeans? Mm, here! <laughs> and these? No. If we all call the truth, then the Bible will lead us to reason. And the new day will go for those who stand on. And the forests will echo with laughter. Does anybody remember laughter? No. I love laughter. What was that? But I got some good news, yes sir. If there's a bustle in your head show, don't be along there. It's just a spring green for the May Queen. Yes, there are two bars you can go by. 
Drumming dude until just now. Or that dude in the white shirt over to the left. Michael Jackson Trippy. with his hair. No, he looks like Frodo. What? He looks like Frodo. Looks like he's like playing the guitar. Not for this I like it. It's kind of giving me like truck driver vibes just a little bit. He's doing a good job on the drums back there too. Repetition! He's <laughs> got the classic tambourine. Over here with the tambourine! I just said that. I love that. I just said that. <laughs> Until he's into it, please. It's just got real intense. Actually bouncing back there. <laughs> it's like when guitars fall up their guitars, but you have tambourine. Yeah. What is that guy playing back there? Is that the do you have a keyboard? Does that uh, dude in the white shirt have a keyboard? I think so. Um, okay, that's unsettling. It looked like he was like, he was like,
the slow yes. down. Yes, they better not end it immediately because um, that really takes me. She's fine. I stay away to heaven. The angelic screams. So, there are two types of um, rock people. People who like to unbutton their shirts, like Which lead singer man, or have it like down to their chest, like right here, like on the sternum, or they're just like. Like this. Like, I will not see Getty Lee, or I have not yet seen Getty Lee just, like, feeling the breeze. This song was obviously great, but also, yes, um, um, Frodo, I'm gonna call them, call him Frodo, because I don't know his name. Frodo, uh, his double guitar, it's like, one, like, either the top or bottom, like, one was, like, heavier and one was, like, more, like, acoustic, I guess you could say. The other, like, had, like, you know, like, that, you know, that scratchy metal mm. mo little... That one? That Y'all know what I'm talking about. I couldn't really hear the keyboard at all. I think, okay, here's the thing. This, this song had at least two parts. It had... The beginning, which was, like, very soft and angelic, which I think was mm -hmm. the point. And then there was the end where it was, like, guitar solo extraordinaire. Guitar solo extraordinaire. It was a little more intense, you know, a little a little stronger in music ter in musical terms. I think in the beginning, in that angelic beginning, the keyboard was definitely... I could hear I could hear the keyboard for sure. It was definitely present. So the guitar solo was impressive. It really was. Um, I he went really fast and he was really into it. He had like the mascara face where you're like, because like when girls do mascara, they're like, like you know, because we don't want to poke ourselves in the eye with black stuff. And that's how you know he was like really into it. He was like. Almost like he knew the words, even though he, it it didn't have the guitar solo doesn't have words. So I felt I feel like he kind of like it looked like he was kind of like singing along to like some secret guitar language, you know, <laughs> language of the guitar, oh, yeah, language yeah. of the string. I, yeah. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, <laughs> I speak fluent string. This observation is not as much music as it is like physical tendencies that I noticed and Robert Plant here he like mm. as he was singing it was like you know he did it he had his hands and he was like uh, like he would sing and he'd move his hand this way and that way and you know like point and gesture and you know I just thought that was cool because that's really a sign of being invested in the music and knowing what's coming and feeling it so I haven't really ever seen anyone like. Well, presidents. They're, they're like. Before. Uh, uh, I'm president Donald <laughs> That was the worst Donald Trump impression I've ever heard. Okay. Once. But, like, I haven't seen anybody. I haven't seen anybody use. Those gestures like that, and I just kind of thought that was special, you know? He was he was feeling it, and he was into it, so. Unfortunately, I hate to admit this, and I, and I am guilty of this a lot. I uh, get so caught up in the actual music. I don't listen to the lyrics, and I do that in normal music, too. For me, it's less, like, the lyrics are less important than the actual music itself. Like, if I don't like the melody, then I don't care about the lyrics, because why would I listen, you know? So I fall into that trap of not listening to the lyrics, so I'm really not sure what he's saying about, which is unfortunate. But um, I forgot. <laughs> this song was very music heavy as compared to lyrics. Music heavy? Like, I what feel like there mean? was more music than lyrics. Okay. Like, solos were longer, intros were, you know. Honestly, 
like that. I don't like it on every song, but you know, if someone has more music than others, that is perfectly fine because I like I like music. His hair was very bouncy. Oh yes, I loved his hair. For some reason, male celebrities always have better hair than me. <laughs> oh, Music Smoothie was not a music smoothie. Let me point out. Mm -mm. This one, like everything was going together, but it all stood out. Like I could hear the drums, I could, I could hear the guitar, and they were separately, you know, they just were separate. They weren't merging into one sound. They were very like independent. <laughs> and you know, that's always cool. I always love hearing like when it like when is a song a music smoothie where all the music blends together and when is a song like have a bunch of independent instruments that come to like come together and stand, you know, independently but in unity. I don't know. It's just cool to think about and it's cool to talk about. And in this one, the guitar and the drums really did stand out by themselves. And you know that keyboard, it did kind of fade out towards the second half, but it was definitely present in that first half. His voice, his like the way he sang at the beginning. Chef's kiss. At, like the beginning literally made me think of flowers and joy. <laughs> okay guys, thanks for watching. Like it, like the video if you like it. Subscribe if you subscribe to it. I don't know where. Okay, bye! Yep, yep. Oh.